I attend Lamar Middle School and what I love about here is that the teachers are honest and they care about the students. So Samaya is one of the most creative students I've had the pleasure of teaching in my six years of being at Lamar. She loves technology. She has Mr. Goebel. She's in UIL. Um, she's a big artist. And so even in downtime that she has in my class, she's always scribbling something or reading something or previewing a text or a video for some other class or just asking all these big world questions and she's just very much so a leader within her own role and she's very much so a student that is very accountable for her learning and wants to better herself in anything that she does. So what I like about Mr. Canales is that he really gives us the freedom to do what we like and explore what we want to. I'm really glad that Samaya has the opportunity to learn beyond the four walls at Lamar Middle School. The TSA project allows us to compete with students around the U.S. and we decided to do animation. The purpose of the TSA animation project is to compete and try to see how far you can get. Right now, I'm competing against the whole state of Texas with high schools and middle schools. And if I do make it to nationals, I will be competing against states. Currently, the next thing that my group is working on, Mia, she's working on the planets. She's working on making the move. Right now, we have somewhat of an animation of it. Blender is really hard to use, but with the help of like tutorials and stuff online, it's getting easier. At Lamar Middle School, we can take our devices home. At home, I'm able to research things, you know, the tutorials for the TSA animation. For the original concept art of Galaxy Lady, I used the iPad um, to draw it on Sketchbook, which is an app. Nayeli uses GarageBand in order to make the music, and we email it to each other. Before we, we became a Verizon Innovative Learning School, it kind of felt like learning stopped at 345. Because of a lack of technology, um, access of technology at home or Wi-Fi and things like that, many of our students didn't get that learning to extend outside, that reading to extend outside of school. Students have this device that they can take at home in a more equitable manner. If they don't have parents to help them with their homework, there's resources at home that they can get onto their device and access and really help them beyond 345. I am really excited to see what our students are able to do with the Verizon Innovative Learning Lab and inside to see how they can just do more. We placed second at regionals and now we're moving on to state. It makes me feel pretty nice about the fact that I get to move on with the two friends I made this year, but we did it. 